championship fight between AJ Anthony Joshua and Stipe Miocic. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, presenting the challenger, Stipe Miocic. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Trying to double up on that jab. Effective punch there by Joshua. Enters in on the double leg. Joshua's uppercut is blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. And they are 
exchanging leather early. He's able to slip the left there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. This lands a big elbow there. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Nice hook. Single collar tie. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, wow, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Steve Miocic. Big punch lands over. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh, and now a flurry from Steve and he lands a big right hand. Oh, big left. Now a knee. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That shot is blocked by Joshua. Nice job by Miocic on the feet, making some adjustments. And man, that jab looks clean to me. I mean, that jab looks clean, but you got to be very careful not to get hit with a steep angle to right hand. It's powerful, it's straight, and it can be very damaging. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Five minutes in the books. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Joshua gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Let's go. Work on those straight punches. Oh, nice right hand, John. Misses again with a right punch. Big. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Wow. Jab hurt him. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! Throws the right hand there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, take the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under three minutes now remain in round two. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base. Posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, do a posture again. Oh! Look at that. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. 
Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Steve so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes...